What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about Google Drive. Today during Google's INO day 2, they did release Google Drive to iOS as an application on the App Store. It's a free application and if you don't know what Google Drive is, it's basically a Dropbox and allows you to upload everything to Google Drive and you could view it on any device, download it and etc. So let's go ahead and go over it. This is the application button for Google Drive, so you can go ahead and click on the icon and it will open on up and you'll just have to do your regular login and then you can get access to all your files on Google Drive. Now compared to Dropbox I think Google Drive is very limited. You can add folders or upload files right from your iOS device. You can only view them. So let's go ahead and go to my drive. This is where you're going to see the files uploaded. I do have a text file, a picture, and a music file. And there is very limited to what I can actually open on my device. I can open up the picture fine, like that. But when it comes to a music file, even though I could upload it to my device via iTunes, I'm not going to be able to listen to it on here. There is a get around though. You can go, if your device is jailbroken, you can go onto iFile open it up and listen to it like this. And just like that you can listen to your song but be aware that your device does have to be jailbroken or there may be some type of application out in the App Store that allows you to listen to music from Google Drive onto your iOS device. Also inside of my Google Drive is a text document. This can be opened, you can click on it and you can read the text file actually. But the lack of functionality doesn't let you edit the file. So if you wanted to add extra words to it or whatever you want to do, you're not going to be allowed to. You can open it inside of another application if you have some type of text editor and it might work. But just Google Drive alone, you're not allowed to. Now if you click this arrow right here, you're going to be able to go in here and make your uh, file available offline if you want to. So that means if you don't have internet, you're going to be able to still view the file. And it might take a while to load because it has to put it onto your device. But we could turn that off if you don't want it. And then right here, you can edit the file name. So if you don't want it to be named Safari Download Enabler, you're going to be able to uh, rename it to whatever you want. And then on this tab over here, it allows you to add more people to who can view this. So if you want your friends to be able to view it, you're going to want to put their email addresses on, their Google Drive email addresses. And if you want them to just view it, check that. If you want them to be able to view it and edit it, make sure the below one is checked. And right down here is a list of people with access to it. And if there's no one with access other than yourself, it's going to say private. These other menus are basically uh, the share one right here, if people share documents with you via your email, they're going to go right in here. If you have starred uh, files, you can click star like that, they will appear in here. If you have recently viewed files, they'll be listed in here. And offline, this is your offline mode. If you have any files that can be viewed in offline mode, they will be in here. Now from the beginning you do get 5 gigabytes of storage provided by Google free of charge but if you need more than that you can go into your settings, click storage and you can buy 25 gigabytes more on the App Store for only $24.99 a year. So in the comments section below tell me what you think about this new Google Drive application on iOS. I think it is very limited, I'm not allowed to edit anything, so it is sort of useless unless you're going to be reading text files uh, uploaded to your Google Drive. So just let me know in the comments below what you think. Remember to give me a like and a subscribe if you like videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.